This video will demonstrate the formula syntax and usage of forecast.ets function in Microsoft Excel. Forecasting is a technique that uses historical data as inputs to make informed estimates that are predictive in determining the direction of future trends. Businesses use forecasting to determine how to allocate their budgets or plan for anticipated expenses for an upcoming period of time. If you would like to learn about linear forecast, check out my video on that topic. And if you are familiar with forecasting and forecast.ets function, but want to do a forecast quickly in a couple of clicks in Excel, check out this video. Exponential smoothing forecasting in Excel is based on the AAA version, meaning additive error, additive trend, and additive seasonality of the exponential triple smoothing algorithm, which smooths out minor deviations in past data trends by detecting seasonality patterns and confidence intervals. The forecasting method is best suited for nonlinear data models with seasonal or other recurring patterns. The predicted value is a continuation of the historical values in specified target date, which should be a continuation of the timeline. This function requires the timeline to be organized with a constant step between the different points. For example, that could be a monthly timeline with values of the first of every month, a yearly timeline, or a timeline of numerical indices. Forecast.ets syntax has six elements. Several of them are required and several are optional. Target date is required, the data point for which you want to predict a value. Target date can be date or time or numeric. The second argument is values. This one is also required. Values are the historical values for which you want to forecast the next points. Timeline is the last of the required arguments. This is the independent array or range of numeric data. The dates in the timeline must have a consistent step between them and cannot be zero. Now, three optional arguments. Seasonality, this is a numeric value. The default value of one means that Excel detects seasonality automatically for the forecast and uses positive whole numbers for the length of the seasonal pattern. Zero will indicate no seasonality, meaning the prediction will be linear. Positive whole numbers will indicate to the algorithm to use the pattern of the length as seasonality. Next argument is data completion. Although the timeline requires a constant step between data points, forecast.ets supports up to 30% of missing data and will automatically adjust for it. Zero will indicate to algorithm to account for missing data points as zeros. The default value is one and it will account for missing points by completing them to be the average of the neighboring points. Last argument is aggregation. Although the timeline requires a constant step between data points, forecast.ets will aggregate multiple points which have the same timestamp. The aggregation parameter is a numeric value indicating which method will be used to aggregate. And this can be average, sum, count, count A, min, max, or median. And now let's check this function with an example. So I have two columns, in one I have months, and in the other column sales. So let's try to predict the sales for September. Type in the function. Target data is September 22. Select values, that's my sales. Select timeline, timeline. Seasonality pattern is 12 because uh, we are having monthly values and I'll leave the, the rest to be automatically selected. Last thing we need to do is to lock this month and sales data. We are doing this by adding the dollar sign and press enter. Now I'm scrolling all of these down and these are forecasted values. And we can also present this data graphically. I selected both columns, click on insert and select 
to the lines. And these are our sales. Now, this part here is forecasted. We can make this graph look a little bit better. Let's add one more column, uh, forecast. And there you have it. Now there is a split in between these two lines. The way to fix this is to copy the last row of the historical data to forecast. And here it is. So now in this graph, we can clearly see what is a forecast, what is the historical data. And that's how to do ETS forecast in Excel. I hope you like this video. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.